हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियोस ऑफ स्फेरिकल टेक्नोमेट्री सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर वीडियोस सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोर पार्ट फॉर्मूला सो व्हेन वी यूज फोर पार्ट फॉर्मूला इन स्फेरिकल टेक्नोमेट्री एंड हाउ वी यूज फोर पार्ट फॉर्मूला सो व्हेन वी कंसीडर टू साइड्स एंड टू एंगल्स व्हिच आर कंसेक्यूटिव आइदर क्लॉकवाइज और एंटी क्लॉकवाइज ओके सो द कंडीशन फॉर फोर पार्ट फॉर्मूला इज that when we consider four parts of a spherical triangle from which two are sides and two are angles and they should be consecutive okay either clockwise or anti clockwise for example this is a spherical triangle a b c okay so the sides are small a small b and small c now uh, the we will take for example we are going to take these four sides okay uh, this sorry these four parts okay uh, then then we can see that these four are consecutive either you go clockwise or you go anti clockwise if you go clockwise capital a small b capital c small a they are clockwise and either if we go anti clockwise uh, a small a capital c small b capital a so they are consecutive so the condition for four part formula is that we have to use four parts okay we have to consider four parts of a spherical triangle and they should be consecutive okay uh, now Uh, how we name them so for example here we are going uh, clockwise so we will consider uh, the parts a b capital c and small a okay so uh, now you have to see that the first part and the last part they are the outer parts and this between uh, between them that these two parts are inner parts okay these two are inner parts and these two are outer parts okay so uh, a a is a angle okay so it will be written as outer angle okay next is uh, small b so small b is a side and it is inner part so it will be written as inner side next is capital c so capital c is also angle so it will be written as inner angle and next is small a and small a is a side and it is outer part so it will be written as outer side okay so this is how you will consider the parts okay the first second third and the fourth fourth part the first and the last part are considered uh, considered outer parts and uh, the two parts between them are considered considered as inner parts okay now what is the formula for four part formula so the formula for four part formula is cos inner side cos inner angle is equals to sin inner side into cot outer side minus sin outer side sorry sin inner angle cot outer angle so this is actually the main formula for four part formula that is cos inner side cos inner angle is equals to sin inner side cot outer side minus sin inner angle cot outer angle okay so here we will just put this values okay put this parts first okay inner side so here we are the, our inner side is b so it will be written as cos b okay then cos inner angle so cos or inner angle is capital c so it will be written as capital c now then sin inner side inner side is small b then cot outer side outer side is small a okay minus uh sin inner angle so sin inner angle is capital c and cot outer angle cot outer angle outer angle is a so cot outer angle that is a okay so this is how you will use four part formula in spherical trigonometry okay again i repeat that it is considered when we use or when we consider four parts of a spherical triangle from which two are sides and two are angles and they should be consecutive and this is the formula for four part formula and this is how we have to consider the four 
parts which are consecutive now let's see some numericals based on four part formula now let's see a numerical so in this question in spherical triangle abc if small a is 49 degree 8 minutes small b is 58 degree 23 minutes and capital c is 71 degree 20 minutes then we have to find capital a and capital b so first of all we have to check that whether the parts which we will consider are consecutive or not so uh, we will take the spherical triangle abc and the side small a small b and small c okay now we can see that these three parts are already given to us okay small a small b and capital c these three parts are already given to us and we have to find capital a and capital b so here we can see that these four parts are consecutive for capital a and for capital b also these four parts are consecutive for capital a the, capital a small b capital c and small a okay these four parts are consecutive in clockwise direction for capital b capital b small a capital c and small b in anti clockwise direction they are consecutive so here we can apply four part formula so first we will go for b so for b we will consider the four parts b c we okay, small b capital c small a then capital b so as we know that the first and the last part are known as outer parts and these two parts are known as inner parts so we will name them so as we know that b is a side so b will be written as outer side then capital c we know that capital c is a angle so it will be written as inner angle then small a as small a is a side so it will be written as inner side and capital b is a angle so it will be written as outer angle now after this we will write the formula so the formula is cos inner side into cos inner angle is equals to sin inner side into cot outer side minus sin inner angle into cot outer angle okay so after this we will put the terms okay so cos inner side so cos inner side is small a then cos inner angle so cos inner angle is capital c is equals to sin cos inner side so inner side is small a cos outer side so cos outer side is small b then minus sin inner angle so inner angle is capital c then cot outer angle so outer angle is capital b okay now after this as we know that we have to find the term b okay so we will put the we will put cot b on one side and we will take all the other terms to another side so by this you will get cot capital b is equals to sin small a cos small b minus cos small a cos capital c okay this is a capital c divided by or divided by sin capital c okay now after this we will put the values okay so cot capital b is equals to sin small a so value of small a is 49 degree 8 minutes then cos small b so small b is 58 degree 23 minutes okay then minus cos small a again so it is 49 degree 8 minutes then cos capital c so capital c is 71 degree 20 minutes a whole divided by sin capital c so sin capital c c is 71 degree 20 minutes okay now after putting this whole value on calculator you will get the value of cot b okay after putting this whole term this whole value on calculator you will get the value of cot capital b okay 
and that is 0 0.27034 okay and now after taking cot this side you will get b is equals to cot inverse 0 0.27034 and by this you will get b is equals to 74 degree 52.3 minutes okay so this is the value of b okay so first we have to consider the parts okay the four consecutive parts then we have to name them okay then we have to put them on the formula and after putting this whole term on calculator you will get this value and taking cot this side you will get cot inverse and then final value of the angle okay now let's see for a also so for a now for a we will consider this uh, this clockwise in clockwise direction so we will consider the parts uh, small b small a and capital c so the four parts for the ang capital angle a are capital a small b capital c and small a now as we know that the first and the last part are outer parts so capital a will be named as outer angle then small b as it is a side so it will be named as inner side then capital c it is the angle so it will be named as inner angle then small a as it is a side so it will be named as outer side after writing this we will go for the formula so the formula is cos inner side cos inner angle equals to sine inner side into cot outer side minus sine inner angle into cot outer angle okay So now uh, we will put the terms so cos inner side okay so cos inner side is small b then cos inner angle so inner angle is capital C then sine inner side so that is small b then cot outer side so outer side is small a minus sine inner angle so inner angle is capital C then cot outer angle so cot outer angle is capital A. Okay, now we have to find the value of a so we will put this term cot a on one side and we will take all the other terms to another side so you will get sin small b cot small a minus cos small b cos capital C whole upon sin capital C now after this we will put the values so cot capital A is equals to sine small b. Okay, so small b is 58 degree 23 minutes. Okay. Sine small b that is 58 degree 23 minutes. Then cot small a so that is 49 degree 8 minutes minus cos small b. So that is 58 degree 23 minutes then cos capital C so that is 71 degree 20 minutes and whole upon sine capital C so that is 71 degree 20 minutes okay now after putting this whole term on calculator okay you will get the value of cot A so after putting this calculation value of cot a 0 0.60059 okay and after taking the cot inverse okay after taking cot this side you will get cot inverse 0 0.60059 okay and from that you will get the value of a and that is 59 degree 0 0.7 minutes okay so this is how 
you can calculate the value of a also so you have to consider the parts okay for a we will go clockwise okay so the parts were capital a small b capital c and small a then we named them okay after that we will use the formula we will put the values and then we will get the value of capital a so this is how you can solve the numericals for four part formula also so i will give you some more questions in the end of the video so please go for it and i hope you like the video so please click the like button share the video and subscribe the channel thank you